What's going on guys? So today's video is fairly dark. I just got home from work and I'm about to start feeding my fish. Uh, before I feed my fish, I like to keep the area around the tank fairly dim. No big lights, no bright lights, just so I don't scare the fish to not want to eat anything. And particularly, today's mission is to feed the gar some different types of foods. So I went ahead and went to Petco and bought some crickets. I wanted to try to feed it different things. Kind of offer it more variety when it comes to its diet. In the wild, the needlefish does eat crustaceans, fish, and sometimes even insects. So in the aquarium setting, I do want to feed them a variety of foods, especially some that they're kind of used to eating. Uh, I'm not too sure if this fish is wild or caught, but if it is, then this is the type of food that it eats out there. So on today's menu is going to be a handful of crickets. We're going to try and feed it to the gar, and hopefully the painttail cherison doesn't eat any of it. I went ahead and fed the painttail cherison right before this video started. So hopefully it's full enough to ignore the food because I don't want to waste any of the crickets on the kerosene itself. I want all of the crickets to go towards the needle nose gar. Uh, the reason why I don't really want my painted kerosene to eat the crickets is because uh, I know it eats anything and it'll pretty much try to eat anything. So I'm not that worried about the painted kerosene eating these crickets. Uh, more or less, this is for the gar itself. So let's go ahead and start this video off with a live feeding of crickets and then we'll go ahead and talk about what type of plant I picked up for this aquarium right here. So for today we went ahead and picked up six uh, small crickets for the needle nose gar. I uh, got it from Petco and we're going to go ahead and put it into the aquarium right now. There isn't too much luck. The Pinto Chelsea eats probably about half of the crickets even though he's full. Uh, there's no stopping this guy, he just eats whatever he can. The guard kind of looks at the crickets, but they end up going into the overflow. Uh, there is a shield covering the overflow, so the crickets just kind of chill in that dry area. And eventually the crickets just kind of hop out and uh, the, catch the guard's attention every once in a while. Uh, this goes on for a while now. I actually stopped recording because I thought he wasn't going to eat. So I kind of lost hope and went away. Here's some before footage of the guard before I left, and this is the after footage when I came back. As you can see, he has a pretty big lump in his stomach. And I'm just going to take a wild guess that he took about one or two crickets. So even though I didn't catch it on footage, um, we can see here that the gar actually ate one while I was gone. Oh yeah, so I almost forgot. I wanted to give you guys a little bit of an update on the geos or the heckalize. They're doing fairly well. They're eating New Life Spectrum. They're eating uh, Cichlid Gold. And they're also eating um, some Hakari foods here and there. Basically, I'm just feeding them a good amount, maybe two or three times a day, just to get them to grow at a proper rate. And they should pick up some size fairly soon. Hopefully, I'll be able to put them in this tank uh, within the matter of a month or two. And they'll join the Pyra and hopefully grow out in this tank and be great dipper fish for my Pyra. So the plant we picked up today was an Amazon Sword. Uh, I've had this plant in the past. Uh, didn't really need too much care for this plant to grow substantially big. So I'm going to go over how I'm going to put this plant into my aquarium, uh, taking this step by step, making it a lot easier. Maybe you might use this technique, uh, maybe not, but this is how I'm going to do it and I'll explain why later. The reason why I specifically chose this jar is to prevent my bikers from derooting my plant or uprooting my plant, whatever you call it. Since the plant is raised fairly high, um, the bikers don't really have a chance to access the plant in general and um, therefore it won't have that risk of rooting up the plant before it actually uh, takes place. And basically the plant won't get disturbed from the bottom feeders. And I'm sure you notice that I've had snails in this tank. Um, these are the types of pests that I don't mind. But this is another topic that I'll cover in another video. For the specific snails in my tank, I don't know how they got in my tank, but um, they ended up here and I don't really see a harm in them. If anything, they do me more good than bad. So keeping them in this tank isn't much of an issue for me. So yeah, that's just a little video of me getting the new Amazon sword and a little bonus video of me test feeding the crickets to the gar. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Stay tuned for the growth of this plant along with the growth of my fish. Thank you guys for watching. Peace guys. Yay!